YouTube, what's up? Back again for another daily tip. Just finished up day two here at Pickwick. Caught a big bag. And so I'm just gonna tell you right now, I won big bass for the day. And y'all are gonna really like the video. It's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna spoil it for you though. Today's video is a little bit of a curveball. Today's video is going to talk about the mental aspect of bass fishing. Um, and I'm going to break it down for you a little bit. So I hope y'all enjoy it. But hey, I got a goal for us. You know, I, I put a thousand likes on the last, uh, second to last video. And maybe I overshot it a little bit. Because I don't think we're going to quite hit a thousand. How about I'm going to set a goal for 750 likes on this video. And comment below what is the one thing that you do to try to keep a positive mental attitude i talked about it once before about you know being a little bit down and stuff what do you do to keep a positive attitude when you're on the water when you're out there fishing and don't get me wrong i know i'm gonna have at least one guy in this comment section say well at least you're better you're fishing and not at work well guys fishing is work for me so you know some days i have good days some days i have bad days and it's just a job and it's a fun job but it's still a job so comment below what is one thing that you do maybe it's a tradition or a, maybe you talk to somebody or maybe you get your a haircut or eat your favorite food what is it one thing that you do to help keep a positive attitude when you're on the water i'd love to know drop it in the comment section below and i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something about staying positive the next time you're on the water So guys, like I said before, day one's a wrap here at Pickwick. I'm going to have a travel and practice vlog, probably more of a travel vlog, not really practice, probably not. And then I'm going to have a tournament vlog, but uh, like I told you before in a couple videos ago, Douglas will come out first, which will be sometime this coming week. Immediately following will be Pickwick. And Pickwick, I'm telling you right now, today was straight fire. Like what I got on film today, I can't believe I got it. But today's topic of discussion, and it's a daily tip, and it's not so much like I'm not going to tell you the best technique or how to shake your worm or how to hold your mouth the next time you catch a bass, but it's more so the mental aspect of bass fishing. So I'm going to give you an example of what happened today. Um, and I'm not going to spoil it as far as the size of fish I caught or how I caught them or anything like that, but more so decision making and and understanding how hard it is when you fish at this level because on paper tournaments look really cool you know like today i had 18 pounds 12 ounces man i'm gonna have 100 people who tell me man congrats like you must have smashed them today and that honestly couldn't be further from the truth so i'm gonna give you a kind of a breakdown of kind of the day as it progressed and then what i did to really elevate myself to get to that next level of weight so basically this morning i made a bad decision i made a really bad bad decision i decided i was going to uh, disregard a, a place that i could catch a limit i actually a couple places that i could catch a limit completely disregarded them said yeah uh, i'm gonna go try to catch big ones today i did but unexpectedly i'm just gonna tell you flat out it was very unexpected so i passed up these places to catch a limit i ran to a place that they weren't yesterday and i was hoping they'd be there today i rolled up they weren't there i went to move up to another spot boat on it another spot boat on it i get to my third spot there's no boat but it was the worst spot of all didn't catch anything i go to my grass spot nothing well, I kind of made my mind up. I was going to go to an area up by the spillway where a lot of a lot of folks were and I'd had a, you know, I'd weighed in two of my fish from up there the, the previous day and I was going to dedicate to it because I mean, they caught some big bags up there. I had a lot of potential there. I lost a couple uh yesterday there. Uh, ultimately just I I felt like the winning bag was there. Um but it wasn't today was a different day so i i stayed in there for about three and a half hours so at 12 30 
I had zero. Actually, it was like 1240. I had zero bass. Zero. I had to be in it around 430, and I was about 50 minutes from check-in, if that gives you an example. So basically, I had an hour that was I wasn't going to be able to fish. I would be running the whole time. So basically, I had about three hours of fishing. Well, you know, three hours of fishing sounds like a long time. It really does. But when the the fishing is tough, you know, you, when you rely on the shad spawn, the shad spawn is like kind of a feast or famine thing. And this week for me, it was a famine thing. Like I didn't catch them very good in the shad spawn. And I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to have a good tournament with the shad spawn, and I didn't. You know, guys did. Hallman did. And, you know, I know quite a few guys that, that had a really good shad spawn this, this week. And mine didn't materialize like I thought it was going to. Well, at 12.30, I'm just tell you, it was a straight-up butt pucker in time. I had to make a move. I had to make a decision, and I decided to make my decision based off weather. Uh, it got sunny. It got hot. And so I went and fished a technique that was conducive for the conditions. And I thought that was the smartest and best decision I could make based off only having three hours of fishing you know instead of fishing a spot or um you know a particular technique that i had confidence in i was literally just going fishing to try to fish the conditions and and hope and pray that i had five bites so what i did and i've never actually done it before but it worked out pretty well and i weighed in almost 19 pounds is i set five goals five so Every fish was a goal. So I, I literally, I showed up to my first area at about 12.50ish, 1245, 1250. And I said, you know what? Goal one is to catch one fish, not catch five fish. Goal one was to catch one bass, one keeper. I missed one. I caught one. I caught my first one. Goal one accomplished. It was a nice one. It was a two and a half pounder. I didn't really care how big it was. It was a keeper. That's all I cared about. It was a keeper. It was points. When you fish a tournament series and you're trying to do well in points, every bass you catch is good. It's quality. It helps you. And I set my second goal. My second goal was to catch bass number two. I accomplished that. And so on. Bass three, four, and five came. And by doing that, it made me focus even harder on just catching one instead of overwhelming myself by saying you know what you got to catch five you got to catch five i was just saying you know what screw it i'm just trying to get one bite that's it just one bite one bite at a time and by doing that it allowed me to free myself and relax and just fish and take my time pick cover apart and really do well in the event i mean i'm telling you right now just by making that small adjustment on the water today I went from having probably one of the worst events of the, the year by far. I mean, I was literally considering zeroing, zeroing on Pickwick to finish in 23rd place. So what I mean by all this is, guys, like, not every single day on the water is the best day on the water. Not every day that you fish an event is going to be the best event. However you can adjust your day you gotta a lot of times you gotta take a step back and say okay what i'm doing right now is not working and today was that case i tried to run my shad spawn i tried to do a couple things to try to catch some big ones and it wasn't working i lost a couple fish i was getting frustrated i had to take a step back from myself and say okay what can i do to catch some bass the number one thing i can tell you guys Instead of just like losing your mind and going and trying to make something happen and do crazy stuff, look at what's outside. Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it windy? Is it calm? Is it hot? Is it cold? Am I dealing with a post front? Look at your conditions and say, okay, what is the very best thing for the condition that I have right now? And just go with it. Pretend it's a practice day. Pretend, hey, you know what? I get three hours. I just got to go catch a couple bass. And I need to figure out exactly what I got to do that particular day, that particular hour, to catch three or four or five bass, whatever it may be. And I promise you, the next time you're on the water, if you follow that simple, simple advice, if you get in a bad way, just like I did, 
you know, I had zero. Like, almost three quarters of the way through my day, I had zero bass in the live well, and that's five bass limit. I literally took a step back and said, okay, this is what I got to do, and let me see what's going on. And I did, and it worked, and everything worked out perfectly. I got really lucky. I was very blessed today. I said, you know, the other thing is, is I feel like you got to say a lot of prayers, <laughs> and that's what I did today. I said a lot of prayers. Uh, I said a lot of Hail Marys, and basically just, man, I, just, I worked my butt off. And I stayed focused. I focused on every bite. I, I honestly, I'm, I can think back of only about maybe one or two events in my entire career that shaped out like this one has, or even near this one. This one was just so spectacular. Um, but the deal is the positive mental attitude, not selling yourself out halfway, three quarters of the way through the day, because at any moment, your day can change and especially if you make good decisions i started the day making bad decisions and i ended the day making good decisions if you do that on the water nine times out of ten you're going to see better results by just staying positive and knowing that you're going to do well at one point today i'd say about noon i was not positive i was very upset i was very frustrated i was like you know what i just screwed my chance to make the elite series and within three hours I was back in contention to make the Elite Series. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's staying positive and looking forward and not looking backwards. You know, one thing that I did today that I think was a big benefit, I lost a couple good ones this morning. I lost one particular really big one. And instead of dwelling on that lost fish, and, I, and, and it's easy to do. Guys, I've done it a thousand times. I've dwelled on a lost fish and still to this day dwell on some lost fish that I've had. But instead of dwelling on those fish, I was like, I can't change that. I got to move forward. I got to move on. Me worrying about that four pounder that I lost earlier isn't going to help me catch a four pounder right now. So I got to be as focused as I can. Heck, two weeks later, if I want to complain and say, hey, you know, I lost a four pounder and like, God, what would I had? Well, great, I can do that then. But right now, I got to focus on what I can control and not focus on things that I can't control. And I think that's probably one of the most important things that if you take anything away from this video, is control the things that you can control and don't worry about the rest. But the things that you can control, try to make the very best decisions you can because you can turn your day around just like I did if you follow those simple things. Guys, thank you all for watching my YouTube channel. I love the interaction that I get. I'm trying my very best to get to comments. It's so hard to get to y'all's comments, but I really try. I, I promise. Uh, thank y'all all for commenting, liking these videos, and liking my page. Like I, I this has become such a unique experience to me as uh, doing the YouTube stuff and and talking with you guys. I, I feel like I'm actually talking to you guys. So it's been awesome. Thank y'all for watching, and I hope y'all enjoy the next video.